Have I really learned anything from buying luxury or contemporary bags? I think I've learned some. Stay tuned and see what lessons I have learned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And this is a tag video that I was tagged probably a month ago and never have had a chance to film it. And thank you Winnie B L V for tagging me in this video. And if you don't know her, go subscribe to her channel and I'll have her link down below. The creator of this tag was The Closet by Connor, and I will link his video down below as well. The title is Luxury Lessons I Have Learned. Now, I'm taking this as, you know, contemporary or luxury designer brands because that's what I have. I have more contemporary brands than luxury brands just based on my budget, you know. I... I try to be very mindful of price tags uh, because I've always been the one that handles the books and the money and I'm very good with my money. So what I know I need to learn is sometimes the contemporary brands like Dooney or Coach or Longchamp or, you know, all those contemporary brands sometimes will suffice instead of a luxury designer brand like Louis Vuitton or Fendi or Gucci, you know, I, I've learned that I don't need to have the high dollar brands to make me happy. The contemporary brands do just as good of quality or sometimes better quality than some of those designer luxury brands that are 2,000, 3,000 or more. So I've learned that Yes, I have some expensive taste, but I roll that back and if I find a contemporary brand that will hit that style the same way, then I don't need to spend thousands of dollars. If I have an inspired bag or a dupe bag, I've learned that sometimes those dupes are plenty sufficient for me and I don't need to go spend thousands of dollars. I, I don't need that name on the bag to feel like I am someone <laughs> or, it, or to make me happy. So I have learned that, you know, I don't need every Louis Vuitton bag, but I like their vintage Louis Vuitton bags and I still do. And I still have my eye on designer luxury brands and bags, but it's not at the forefront of my thought. Like in 2020, I, I swear I just wanted all luxury designer Louis Vuittons. And at that time, prices were a lot better. Comparative to today's prices, to vintage Louis Vuitton, even the, even the new pieces that I got back in 2019 and 20, those prices are crazy now and I wouldn't pay those same prices as I did then. So I have learned that I don't need every single bag or name brand, high dollar brand to be in my collection. I don't need to be the FOMO. I don't need fear of missing out on a piece because I look at my collection, I have a lot of bags and if some of those bags are similar to these thousands of dollar brands, I don't need it. I have it in my collection. It just may be Coach or Dooney. I've also learned that since being on YouTube and seeing everyone's videos of these gorgeous contemporary and luxury brand bags, sometimes I'll jump off the video and go searching for it. And I don't need that bag. It's just because Sometimes, as YouTubers, we have excitement for those purchases, but that doesn't mean that every bag that they show, I need. <laughs> so I have learned to 
Yes, I still go off their video and start searching, but if it's something that is really high priced and I don't need it, then I just continue to watch the video and don't have FOMO. <laughs> and that goes for trendy bags or, you know, if certain bags I know that are trending right now, it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't have a trendy bag in my collection already that would be just as good as for instance I'll give you an example I have a coach Dempsey carry-all and it's a shiny black pebbled leather to me it is very similar except for it's coach and I paid a hundred and twenty dollars for it I don't necessarily need the Marc Jacobs tote but yet I keep seeing those totes and I get very, very tempted by those totes. But I can never figure out what color I would even buy. <laughs> so I don't buy any. So sometimes I just think maybe that's a sign of it's not for me. And on the other hand, sometimes I'll buy dupes or inspired bags that are real cheaply made that don't have the good quality that you want. And they won't suffice for your need of the luxury designer brands. So sometimes, yeah, I end up getting the the real thing because those don't always quench the thirst for the, the big dollar bags. I've also learned to tell myself it's okay to say no. <laughs> Just, you don't need it. If you don't have it in the budget, or you think that it's going to take too long or you got to put it on a credit card and that's just not what you want to do and you have other bills or other upcoming remodels or vacations that you could spend that money on just say no <laughs> another thing i've learned is that i don't need every single wallet card holder slg bag charm <laughs> even though they are really cute or I love the style or I love the leather that the you know that I see I don't need them all I have plenty of wallets to choose from plenty of bag charms to choose from I don't need those so I really try to be mindful of those expensive SLGs especially now if it's like $20-30 I'm okay with getting those, but if we're talking high dollar Louis Vuitton or some kind of luxury brand, nah, I don't need those. <laughs> I have my mini pochette, I have my key clay, I have, I have those luxury brands in my collection and I hardly switch out of my SLGs, so I don't really need any more of those. I've also learned that if I have liked a bag for a really long time and I keep watching videos on a certain bag and I keep looking for it and if say it went on sale that's the time that I would really consider to buy the bag because you know if it's if you're just doing it on a whim and it's a high dollar item and you have to put it on the credit card it's not going to be worth it in the end and then you're going to have to pay it off <laughs> so. another thing is do your research 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 <laughs> as a real estate agent would tell you location 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 well in this bag loving collecting universe that we live in you need to research that is the best advice that i could tell you is because sometimes you'll find it on bloomingdale's or neiman marcus or you know, different department stores sometimes have better sales than in Coach or Dooney. So sometimes you have to just research or you will end up paying more. And I have done that. And I saw it, you know, later for much cheaper and I was kicking myself. So type in, in Google search for every option of that type of bag before you hit add to cart. <laughs> so these are some of the things that I've learned in my journey and 
you know, 20 years ago when I started really liking bags, I didn't even dip my toe into designer bags, designer luxury bags. And now that I have, I am very mindful of what comes in when they're that price range. So just don't give into the hype all the time because sometimes they're just not your style. <laughs> they're just not what you need for your daily carry. So thank you for tagging me, Winnie B L V, and uh, anybody else that has wants to do this tag, feel free. She tagged a bunch of people in her description box. So I, I think I've learned a lot, but there's still more, more I gotta learn, more times I gotta tell myself no. But anyway, I appreciate you all watching, and if you don't mind, if you like this video, or, uh, I usually talk about handbags and accessories uh, with a little lifestyle thrown in, then please feel free to subscribe down below and hit the thumbs up for me and hit the bell if you don't want to miss my videos. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.